Welcome to SRB TV. We are here. Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're checking a look at uh, Harley Quinn Season 3, Episode 8. Batman Begins Forever. Previously on Harley Quinn, Ivy suffering from the side effects of being more connected to the green. Because of that, they, uh, Harley decides to go to a gala to kidnap Bruce Wayne. In doing so, runs into uh, Batgirl. They get kidnapped by Matt Hatter, Harley leaves, only for her subconscious to tell her you should go save her, which she does, and eventually uh, cat kidnaps uh, Bruce Wayne. Meanwhile, on the King Shark side, on the shark side of things, um, turns out his brother, uh, King Shark's brother, was going to sell the kingdom to Yoshi Master of all fucking people, so he can make a Megaplex on it. Literally, yeah. like every generic storyline you've seen now. Generic storyline, we're like, we're gonna change the town. So in order to stop him, he had to kill him. Unfortunately. Which is his 14th time doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything else? N uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, breakup getup looks stupid. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. Now they have Bruce Wayne kidnapped, and now the interrogation begins. And we'll have to see where that goes from this point on. Yep. So here we go again for Harley Quinn, Season 3, Episode 8. Batman Begins Forever. So here we go. Yeah. yeah. You know, I too used to have a temper problem. But with the help of Mayor Joker's Passions Not Prisons Reform Program, I found an outlet for my joke. No! Is that who I think it is? It's Psycho! Oh! All right, next caller. Hey, hi, Dr. Psycho! And, uh, time. We need you, Dr. Psycho. Psycho. I'm listening. I'm listening. Hey, we're back to normal. Oh, oh my god, Frasier. I learned more from watching Frasier than I did from all of med school. <laughs> I learned more from... Shark! I feel so. I volunteer to watch the bodies. All right, kids. It's showtime. I don't even do Yeah, it clenched your butt cheeks. I remember that part. I <laughs> see I think the last time I did this, it went to Harley's mind. No, Ben and Fur was fine, and that was a poison ivy as well. Okay. Chris, Chris, look at the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Look at the fucking aesthetic. Where's it's TAS. Like in my brain. Series. All I see is Gotham. But Rick, no! Thomas Wayne! Oh god, the Thomas Wayne thing! What sort of secrets has he been hiding? There is so much I can learn from watching the man I really? train on the Really? He wasn't hiding it. Look at that portrait of the man. He probably has a mustache. Penny Little would really need me for this part, so no momento. Oh, Mr. Wayne, a word, perhaps? Oh, Mr. Wayne! Again, they can't the see The gun it. looks pretty accurate, too. You can't communicate with them. Jesus Christ. You can't mess with a memory Oh shit. Yeah, here we go. I thank you, Mr. Wayne, with your final breath. Tell me your life's motivation. I'm trying to take this like a comedy, but they're making is is also a slut. A slut. Please be okay. God, you're heavy. Man, they look make Joe Cho look really menacing. Yeah. Murders? Uh, making mini golf. Or having a merry-go-round. All I see is darkness. Okay. Wait, okay, did he say Felicity's darkness? No. All he sees is darkness. I don't know. He didn't. He understand. said all he sees is darkness. That's what he stated. Dude, it looks just like the fucking animated show. The backer. Yes. That's what I was gonna say. There, there's the Batman we know from. You know, you grow up to have a real savior complex. What do you think you are? You don't sound like Bruce Wayne there. You sound like <gasps> Holy shit! You're I'm Batman. Oh! There he is! Look at it, look at it. I'm Batman. 
richest man in Gotham said explicitly. Joker knows. <laughs> he's gonna, she's gonna tell Joker, he's like, yeah, I knew. Okay, come to think of it. He's like, you what? Wait till you hear who Superman is. Come on. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, you're Batman. No, I'm just, at least I'm this dress right now. I will be in my kingdom. Oh my god, he's got his kingdom with him. Oh yeah, he's king now. <laughs> ah! The classic Bat bum. That was 6'6 six, six, Batman. Penguin. Batman returns. I had a few weird years. I had a few weird years. Oh, it used to be such a fudging pill. Wait. Firework rocket. Tiny problem. Smell the fright where he was involved. She remembers this oh, memory. I remember this night. What should we do with Batsy's little sidekick? Oh, oh her. Her I think debut. We gotta teach him some manners, Mr. J. Her oh. debut. She's just. We, we can CGI the mustache in post. How did he not know Thomas Wayne had a mustache? Like, seriously. Yeah, You're disgusting. All this destruction and mayhem for what? Do you really. Nice! <laughs> nice shot. That's so much. Ugh, get a real. Self-esteem. Yeah. <laughs> Get the room with some self-esteem. <laughs> I like how she's robbing oh, fighting. Oh, like, oh my god, that is so cruel! <laughs> I like it. Seriously, tone it down the accent. You don't have to try that hard. What the fuck? Happy moment. Christmas. Arthur, Thomas. Bruce. Oh, Francis, Chinese thug. It's the last Christmas we had together. The last oh. Christmas. Those are for Santa. Uh, I'll take the heat from Tim Allen. <laughs> I'll take the heat from Tim Allen. <laughs> oh, Why? I've got like a million questions, but mostly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm really good. I'm here. The reason I sit all night by the window waiting, begging for the bat signal to appear. The reason I became Batman. Everyone knows your parents were. He's murdered. the reason he comes. Well That's a clever or take or on it. They yeah. Don't know that if you was to take the memo back, I wanted us to walk home. Crime Alley. To think all this trauma from an Antonio Banderas film. No, that's the 90s one. I'm talking about the black and white. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's never enough. So I must never forget that is my penance. When and I will. You saw everything. This is the only way out of the dark. Hey, Harley, what is he doing with Frank? He, he modified Frank's resurrection powers. He's going to bring back his dead parents. Yeah, that's not uh, good. A post credit scene dramatic. Oh my god, yeah, him is. Him is. Yeah. Wait, that's. It's not. Zombified. Everybody. Oh. And that's how we did the episode. <laughs> and that was a very more. Serious episode of Harley Quinn. Yeah, uh, a combination of Batman Begins, but also a combination. That's why they called it Batman Begins Forever, because it's also a combination with Batman Forever, where bam, they set the thing, and that's how they found out. Remember, that was the one. Also, yeah. You know what's? It's, it's gonna be the weirdest thing to say about the show. I didn't like the comedy in this episode. And that wasn't bad, but considering they were going for a more serious route. I could have used a little less of the jokes. Like, I didn't mind the beginning. Of course, he had to use Dr. Psycho to get into Bruce's mind to figure out where exactly Frank is. You know, and what's going on with him. And of course, Harley finds out he's Batman. She's keeping that secret to herself, which is smart. Because that would throw the whole rogues gallery out of whack. Um, I, I do love the twist, too. That Joe Chill in his mind is him, is an older version of him. And I love it. it's like, yeah, he's the one who helps him become Batman. So of course, yeah. in his mind, it's Bruce. It's a grown-up version of himself. Bruce, and that's why it makes sense. Where even he's like, without Joe Chill there, I wouldn't be who I am right now. You know, so that's why it's like he has to be there for the death of, the, of my parents. And you can see why he's doing it. He's reached a low point in his life where like. The Bat family's not exactly helping him out. He just broke up with what he thought was the woman of his dreams. He got very clingy, and because of that attachment, he's gotten desperate to a point 
where he's trying to use Frank to resurrect his dead parents, but in doing so, has brought back the dead. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make for an interesting last two episodes. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a good episode. Like, I did, I, you know, it was a bit of a turn to see it taken a bit more seriously compared to other episodes of Harley Quinn. Like, this is the most serious Harley Quinn I think has ever been. Like, other times, you can be, you can play for last, but here, way more serious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love how serious Harley was coming out of the Mindscape, trying to tell him you don't have to do this. This isn't going to help you with your current situation. I'm curious to see where we go in the last two episodes of the season. Like, yeah, zombies coming out pretty much it looks like because it's affecting the whole entire graveyard. Yeah, and like what will happen to him when like this all stops or when they're able to stop him. Like, I thought the stu honestly the stupid, like if I had one that really annoyed me, it's Clayface. Clayface was the With only part that was annoying. The, 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 the Thomas Wayne mustache thing. I'm like, okay, first off, it's a mindscape of a kid getting his parents constantly killed. I don't think the father's gonna help you. And B, how does nobody know Thomas Wayne had a mustache? Either he's that stupid. No, no, to be fair, it's not even him. Apparently, in the script, he does not have a mustache, according to what he said. So even on top of that, that's really stupid. It's like, he, he should have known this already. It's like he's... And it turns out, yeah, uh, Shark is using his kingly, uh, Duties to get around and stuff like that for now. Yeah, um, yeah, this was, like I said, good episode. I love how it definitely played it a lot more serious. Um, haven't, like, the closest we got was when, like, we found out more about her family, like, Harley's immediate oh, family. Yeah. But, like, other than that, I like, I think the funniest part was her encountering her younger self. Yeah, and she's playing Robin. And she's the one playing Robin, like, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that overall. Yeah, it's a good episode. Like maybe a couple of the comedy bits we couldn't, we didn't really need, but like I did enjoy this episode overall. Yeah, it was a it was a decent episode. It was like the first really serious episode that we I think we really got into, and I liked some of the th the classic revert back to some of the stuff from like Batman Begins or mm -hmm. some of the classic detective comics where he's swinging down and he's got that classic cape look and stuff like that and yeah know. there was a lot there uh, like the background sex were all batman animated series you did have the yeah have that's the batman 66 batman returns yeah. like it was but like i said i see where they got the combination of batman begins but also batman forever where it's I, like they they dive into his mind of who he became and that any scene i think that's the most serious Deidre bears ever been playing batman mm -hmm. and that except for that one joke in the middle of that speech it was the most serious i think he's like been uh, yeah, and he did a great job there as well like oh, yeah. really played up like how serious all of this is for Bruce being Batman. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, good. So I think easily one of my favorite episodes because, like, yeah. it's definitely a a detour it needed to get us into the stars into so the yeah, final get, two episodes. Yeah, right, start getting us into the you know the final two episodes, pretty much of this season overall. So yeah, I definitely can't wait to see where we're gonna lead into the uh, ne uh, next time. Yeah. So. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about DC shows like this one, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. For Also, I think I, Batgirl's relationship with Harley may play into the next episode. Go yeah. On. Go on. Sorry. Go on. Let us know what you guys saw of this episode. You know, the first kind of like really good series episode overall in this uh, uh, in this episode, pretty much. Uh, what did you guys think of it? You know, did you guys did you guys really think that Clayface was really annoying in this episode overall? Um, do you think it was uh, the humor wasn't really there? It seemed like they were too focused on the seriousness of it. And did they a good job? Did, did in your opinion, did they do a good job at it overall? And you know, and it was cool to see some of these flashbacks of classic stuff that we saw from you know even batman carrying the, the the bomb the explosion you know like the 66 batman you know just running with the the, the bomb uh, but let us know in the comments down below we do apologize if the uh, the, the of last week's episodes were kind of a little bit delayed just had internet issues at the time so kind of hard to upload stuff but we're back to normal to get everything back on the usual dates but let, again just let us know what you guys thought of our reactions to this episode but most importantly, we thank you for watching. Yes, yeah, so, and of course, you want to check out any of our previous reactions to Harley Quinn overall season one through three. You can check out our 
right here on the channel. And of course, on the next episode of SRP TV Tackling Harley Quinn, we will be taking a look at Season 3, Episode 9. It's hard to say this. Climax at Jaja Pajija. You want me to try saying it? Climax as 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 Jaza Pajiza. Yeah, that's how you say. That's, that's the like, closest I can get. Yeah. Um, but until uh, so um, until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Bruce Mindscape filled episode of SRB TV. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.